Okay, let's do some cleanup work on this roof. Today is 170. So what do we mean by cleanup work? What does that mean? We have a lot of little things that we need to do. Yeah. We need to install handles, Ugh, yes. latches, yes. caulk. Mm-hmm. Um, insulation. Insulation on the roof. Yeah. And a couple other little things. Yeah. Just some little things to, to make it easier to get in and out because we're going to be plumbing very, very soon. And right now, it's still a pain in the butt to get inside the pump house. Which I feel like we built the whole thing so it wouldn't be a pain in the butt. And it's still a pain in the butt. It was a good lesson learned. Yep. <laughs> we learned how not to make a pump. Hmm. Okay, well let's put some handles on at the very least because yeah. that will help a lot in terms of getting this, these things on and off. All right. Yeah? Handles. Handles. First. Okay, we got the handles on, so we're gonna flip these over and take some of this insulation we got and cut it to size and fit it in.
We need to clean up in here. It's a huge mess from all the construction. So we're gonna vacuum up what we can, and then we gotta get the latches on. Also, insulation. Yeah. Problem. Oh, uh, we're just a little bit short. Like a one foot by two foot section. On the in on the top part, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we're gonna have like little heating pads in here anyway. Yeah. So we've been looking for a long time on a way to heat the inside of this. And we finally, and I don't know why we didn't think of this before, but they make twelve volt water tank heating pads for RVs, which we should have known about. Anyway, we're going to hook that into the 12 volt system and just put one or two on the ground and then they kick on when it gets below a certain temperature. So we're just going to see how that works. See if this insulation that we have is good or if we need to come back and add more later. But I mean, considering our other pump house is made of wood and only has a little bit of insulation in it and it's only frozen like once, I think this will be okay, especially with the heater. Quit videoing and dump my trash. All right, it's latch time. Let's do it. So we've got insulation. Mm -hmm. We cleaned up the cement pad. Mm -hmm. We put the latches on. Yeah. Did we do anything? handles? Handles. Yeah. So we're going to take a little detour and plumb the overflow from our water tank to where it has a place to go. Because if it rains again, overflowing is going to just, all that overflow is going to go directly down at the side of the tank. Near the base of it. Yeah, <clears throat> and which we is don't not want good. that. We did not think we would need to even worry about this. Uh -huh this season, but we've gotten so much rain that it's already full. So we're just gonna come out and go down and then go out again, and yeah. then we'll put some rocks down there. Eventually, maybe we'll add another tank if we see maybe. that we need it, um, but we just need it to go somewhere. Cause if it drops down straight, it's gonna like cause that ground to erode and like. Yeah, you get problems long term yeah. for sure. So, so we, wanna, we wanna direct it out. This will let it come down and kind of at least Get away if from if the it tank. makes any sort of ruts, it won't be right at the base. It'll at least yeah. be a little bit further out. All right. So this should be easy. We don't need to do like a lot of gluing necessarily. No. Like we just got to cut it and get it put in place. all of about two minutes to do that, but I can't handle the white, so we're gonna take it off and spray paint it. I really thought I got tan, but it turns out <laughs> it's not much different than white. <laughs> but I'm still gonna do it because I said I was. It's fine. It smells great. Fine. It smells amazing. At least we'll feel good afterwards. We're gonna wait on this pipe to dry before we can install it. Yeah. And then, what else? What's next? Well, you gotta run into town. 
yeah, for so a few things. Yesterday I tried to pick up the foam that goes underneath our roofing panels here, and I was 15 minutes late. So I'm going to go back today. And you got to go to the grocery anyway. So yeah. we're going to pick those up and get those installed, and that should help sort of take care of all the little places that bugs could still get in. Oh, I do need masonry caulk to do that back seal between the metal roof and the wall. The, right. Well, wall. The wall. The wall. The wall. <sighs> huh. It's been a long day. Yeah. So. So you're going to do that? I'm and then that. we'll be back. We'll be back to finish it up. Yeah. Be careful. I love you. And guess what? More rain. More rain. We tried really hard. I've got the parts, <laughs> but as soon as I got back, it started pouring. So we are out of luck for the rest of the day. I guess we're not going to get those foam strips in, but that's okay. We'll do it next time. We'll see you later. I was done growing up, had enough of chasing down the sun, but suddenly... I can see everything evergreen. I won't pretend I ever found my way. I've made my healthy share of fear. Changed my mind